So the Padlet was the last piece of this assignment. And when you create a Padlet, you'll get a link and you just share the link on the Google Classroom assignment, add the link. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a look at it. It may not be part of the grade. It might just be something that helps prompt more discussion. Again, it gives those quiet students a voice. Even your, your overachieving students with a fixed mindset, they may be afraid to put themselves out there for fear they'll lose that status of being the brilliant one in the class. So they're just useful on so many different levels. So here we have a response where a student um, took a snapshot of Google Earth from an area of the world that um, is suffering from drought. And we have another one here um, where they posted an actual link to a site and put ideas. And here's another link to a site, five top trends and more information um, to the prompt uh, what can be done to help avoid this crisis which is already in full swing. It just hasn't affected the US yet. So this is another way for collaboration. Um, if you wanna know how to create a Padlet, you go to padlet.com. And I'm gonna go back to up here just to my board. Um, you'll sign in, you get three for free. Um, I have more because I got grandfathered in, but you get three for free. And when you're done with it, you export it as a PDF or a JPEG, and then you delete the Padlet, but you still have the Padlet itself uh, to refer to or to hand out to all the students through Google Classroom. But it allows you to keep um, creating more Padlets. So the, basically, you'll come up here, you'll make your Padlet. These are the different types. Um, this one, you link ideas. It's just a stream grid, pretty self-explanatory. This one's kind of nice because you can put categories at the top. Um, if you just had three columns, KWL, you could have five columns, have students sort. Um, the one that I chose was this one right here, the wall, which is somewhat of a grid. It will give you a wallpaper um, to change that. Right here is where you title it and put your description. Uh, to change the wallpaper, you just simply scroll, da scroll down click on more, and there are several to choose from. Um, so we could just pick a cloud, something plain, and then click the back arrow, <clears throat> click next, and um, next again, this is where you have your permissions. You can also monitor Padlet so that um, the students can't post anything without you approving it first. So if you're afraid they're gonna put something inappropriate or a link to an outside site that you really don't want in your classroom, uh, go ahead and toggle on the moderation. And then you click Next and start posting. So to get the link, once you start posting, you can come up here to Share, and you go to Share, Export. And this is also, by the way, where you can save the Padlet. Um, and then here is where you get your link. If you're using Canvas, you can embed it in your Canvas course. And you just put the link in your Google Classroom, and, and that's Padlet. It's fun. It's easy. Um, the kids really are the ones who are engineering the whole thing. So enjoy.